find out that you were the NFC special teams player of the week? I uh, found out after practice when they, uh, you know, Coach Coach Da he uh, said something to the team, got to. Uh, you know, break it down, the whole deal. So that was a neat, you know, good accomplishment. But, uh, you know, I'll try and do it again this week. After getting that award or acknowledgement, you know, does that kind of put into perspective what you did do on Sunday? Kind of how special that was? Um, a little bit. You know, I, it just shows that, you know, treat every game and uh, treat every game with, you know, the utmost, you know, importance. You know, regardless of what kick it is, you never know what can come out of it. Um, just treat it one week at a time. Uh, just worry about the week ahead of you and and uh, just stay on a roll. You know, Blake, I know you, you obviously now you started 11 or 12. You had that confidence in you. Nobody really knew about you, but do you kind of feel like, okay, this is me justifying me being here? Yeah, you know, that's just, like I said, you know, one game at a time. Don't look too far ahead. Definitely don't look behind you. Um, you know, that was a game where me and Lou um, going into it, you know, those were two draft pick uh, kickers and punters. Um, so, you know, there's there's three in each position that were drafted, and then there's me and Lou that were undrafted. Um, so that was a little chip on our shoulder that we knew um, going into that game. So it was a little, you know, added, um, you know, motivation. Um, so that was that was kind of the way we looked into it. We knew it was a big week for this team, obviously. Um, wanted to go out, go out and get a win and, you know, keep the team on the roll. You know, after pregame, after you get in your kicks, you know, maybe it's not so windy on the field or everything. Mm -hmm. Did you kind of tell Coach, hey, I feel like I can go from this distance or, or whatever. Yeah, you know, you work through that. You you give me yard line. Um, you know, like I've said, that I never believe there's a kick that I can't make on the field. Um, you know, you work back with your distances. It was a you know a you know a tougher condition game up in New England with the uh, with the window way it was. Um, but you know, you, that's that's part of kicking. Um, you work through that in pregame. You know, trust your line, trust your operation. Um, you know, you can't do it without Zach and Lou doing their jobs. So um, you know, you got an all around unit and just. Glad to go out there and get done. So now where exactly did you tell Riz you were comfortable from? Uh, we don't really, honestly, don't even <laughs> say the line just because, yeah. uh, I mean, there's, you know, just, you never really know. Um, you know, whatever whatever the situation I put in, uh, I feel like I can go out there and make it. So uh, it's kind of understood where it's at. You know, we work back through our distances in practice, and, uh, you know, we just go out there and try to convert it every single time. One of them was with the wind, right? One of them was. Uh, I wouldn't say really either of them were okay. with anything. It was uh, it was swirling. It was kind of a crosswind. Um, you know, I just had to like like I said, pick a line and uh, and trust it. So um, throw it out there and you know hope it flies. So as Riz said, anything after the fact, like okay, so now we know you got that. We're gonna push it. No, it, no. Like I said, it's you know silence is agreement. Um, just go out day at a time, whether it's practice, whether it's a game. Just go out there and you know let it fly. Don't think too much about it. Uh, have fun with it and uh, spin it to win it. Thank you. Thank you, guys.